All right, hi everybody. Um, this is Nick from In the Nick of Time, Weird Giraffe Games, five minute reviews, very quick reviews, because I like to talk fast. Um, so hi, I'm Nick from Weird Giraffe Games, and this is Carla hi. from Weird Giraffe Games. And uh, we just played Unlock, a secret adventure, a no side story. Uh, so what did you think about it, Carla? Okay, first, let's talk about what this is. Yes. Because this is not a regular board game, it's an unlock game, and it's also an escape room game. So there's a variety of escape room games out there. There's the Exit series, the Unlock series, the Deckscape series. There's also one-off ones, like the Werewolf Experiment one. Um, how Unlock works is it is one where you don't destroy it, like the Exit one, so you can play it. And then you can give it to somebody else. You you will not want to replay it because you just solved it all. Unless you're kind of forgetful and then you might want to play it in like two or three years. Um, but it also has an app that goes with it. Um, it's free. You just get the app and it helps you get through the gates and stuff. And it will give you hints. Stuff like that. Um, this one, um, no, a no side story. Yes, that's an app. app. It's almost like people <laughs> know what apps are. Yes, it's crazy. So... A No Side Story. This is actually the sequel to another Unlock game. Yes. So, One of the original it. three uh, Unlock yeah. games. Okay. So what did you think about it, Nick? Uh, so I really liked this one. This was a um, it was a one out of three on the difficulty scale on the back of one padlock out of three padlocks, uh, which means that it's great for beginners. We played with us who have played four or five Unlocks before. And we played with a uh, couple that has not played one. We kind of just sat them down and said, hey, play the tutorial. And they learned how to play the system really quickly. In about 10 minutes, I think, they give you for the tutorial. And then we just went right into it. Um, I think I enjoyed it more because we had played the original one. So I would highly recommend playing the first No Side uh, adventure from the original series before going on to this one. There was some cool... Um, little uh, things that uh, harken back to the first one without spoiling it. Because it's hard to talk about these games. Uh, it's kind of like a... You can't spoil it. Well, we don't have to spoil it. Yes. That's why I make Nick stop talking. Yeah. Because so, whenever he talks about spoilers, he's like, like this. Like spoiler alert. Yes. And yes. so we're not going to do that. But so what did it's you think really about fun. It? Okay, I'm talking now. Nick. Um, Nick has this thing where he likes to interrupt because he's like, I'm in the nick of time. It's about me. I'm just going to talk it the is. whole time. It's my podcast. But yes, it's not his. <laughs> um, so what did I think? I liked this Unlock one. I am not always such a big fan of Unlock games because they have this thing in there where you have to look really hard at things because there's hidden numbers. So I'm telling you now, there's hidden numbers as there are on every Unlock that I've ever played. Um, it's not my favorite because I'd rather lose or not be able to know what I'm doing because I'm dumb not because I can't see something yeah and some so, of them are really hard to see yeah. um, especially I, I would imagine that it would be really really hard for people who are like colorblind and it is unfortunate that they would probably be in a disadvantage playing well I these think games. like just everyone is at a disadvantage unless you have super good eyesight but this unlock yeah. was we actually found everything before like giving up or like needing a hint on something so this one is easier to find than some of the other ones i think they've gotten better at it um i really enjoyed this one it was a one out of three so it was easy there was never any time where we're like oh i really don't know or i don't have any idea what to do there was a couple puzzles in there that we were like oh, okay i think we got this and then it was like oh no we don't but that's good i mean you don't want to just know it the whole time so it's still good um, one of my more favorite unlocks, even though it has clowns, and I'm not a clown person. Um, one thing I really liked about this one is that the app had a story that went with it. Mm -hmm. um, usually they have the story that's written down, but this one you got to hear the voice actors do the story. And I thought that was really cool. I thought uh, another really cool thing is that uh, when you mess up, like we did, uh, a lot of the penalties, you'll, you'll find that unlock has this penalty system where if you think it's one answer, but it's actually not, they'll dock you like three minutes for looking at that card. Um, but I, I like how a lot of the penalties were very thematic. And yeah, it was like, obviously this text. was like a great flavor text thing. I, I really yeah. liked that. But. Yeah, it was, it was good and fun. And it was like,
like, oh yeah, we did do something stupid. Yeah. We should get Obviously, back we should not have done what we just yeah. did. But we were like, what do we do? We have to do this thing. And I was like, no, don't do it. But then Nick was like, let's do it. And I was like, oh, yeah. that was dumb. But yes. So, um, if you are into escape rooms, I would recommend this. But recommend it after you play the first one. Which is also a one star. Um, mm -hmm. I think that this one actually plays better than that one. Um, I think Unlock has learned what they're doing a little more. I think it would be a really cool uh, night to go get the first one and then the second one, and uh, that's about probably two hours. Uh, it plays up to six players. I don't know why it says one to six uh, players on the side of the box. Well, I wouldn't play it with more than six because even at four, they, there's only a certain number of cards, and you want to be able to solve things. Like I would not suggest this at six. Four is as most as I would go for an unlock game. Yeah. Yeah, so. It's really hard. I agree, because we did play with six players once, and it was really hard to kind of get in the theme. Uh, well, you, you can't you see the didn't cards. you see half of them. Yeah, you can't like, see Like, somebody them. else was solving things, and you're like, what was that? Like, what are you doing over there? And they're like, oh, I'm just going to town solving all the things and having a ball. And I'm like, oh, well, I wish I could solve something, too. I just have this thing that we need for later on in the game. So, yeah. yes. So, I would recommend it um, 1 to 4. I mean, it's probably better at 2 to 4. But, I mean, if you don't have friends, then it's a good escape room. It's still cheaper than going to an escape room alone. Yeah, and the best part is then you can uh, give it away to somebody. Yeah, then you pass it around. So, yeah. yes. So, we recommend this one. Thank you for watching. Bye. And if you'd like for us to review any game, just tell us which ones to review. Yeah, just tell us. Oh, where would you, where do people contact us? Oh, um, on Twitter, I am at Weird Giraffes. And Nick I'm is at Stellar, Stellar Nick. Nick. Um, because Nick and Time, whatever. Uh, yeah. Um, but our website is WeirdDraftGames.com. And we have an email at contact at WeirdDraftGames.com. Yeah, so, so go buy some listening. unlocks because they are really cool experiences. Okay. We're done now. We're ending this. Okay, Goodbye, bye. All. Bye.